The Pullman Regional Hospital Board of Commissioners have put on a bond on this month's ballot that it might affect your home's property tax. Noah Schmick tells us more about how the hospital bond could affect the Pullman community. Pullman voters will consider a $29 million hospital expansion bond when ballots are sent out this Friday. The Pullman Regional Hospital Board of Commissioners approved the ballot measure in February and met for the last time on Wednesday night to hear any questions from the public before the bond will be voted on this month. CEO Scott Adams says the bond will include a 45,000 square foot health care pavilion and will fund a community-wide electronic medical record that connects medical offices and hospitals in Washington State. And students especially and their families know that they've got access to that information here in Pullman as well as back home where their child and the, their family care has been, been provided. President of the Board of Commissioners Tricia Grantham says that it not only helps students and parents, but it also helps the doctors who are working on their patients. The practitioners, the, the, all, all the providers are excited about it. They see the value in the coordination of care. Through 30 community presentations on the bond's goals, the board listened to public opinions and realized that many people had many questions about the hospital itself. Some people did not realize we were a public hospital. So the education, you know, that has occurred as a result of this has been great. And we've been able to listen to the community. The proposed tax increase in the bond will be about a dollar per $1,000 of property value for Pullman residents. Residents will have until April 23rd to cast their ballots on whether or not they accept the bond and its tax increase. Noah Schmick, Murrow News 8. National Crime Victims Rights